This Spotlight on Life Insurance is sponsored by Partners Advantage Insurance Services. Experience the advantage of a true wholesale partner. For more information, please visit partnersadvantage.com. The White House and lawmakers have announced their support of a U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs investigation into life insurance companies' practice of placing veterans' death benefits into corporate accounts and keeping the majority of investment profits for themselves. According to Mike Walkoff, acting undersecretary for the VA's Veteran Benefit Administration, quote, the possibility that life insurance companies are profiting inappropriately from these service members' sacrifice is completely unacceptable, unquote. Bloomberg originally reported on the practice, which has become standard procedure for many insurers. Rather than paying a lump sum to survivors upon the death of the policyholder, insurers keep the money in corporate accounts and provide survivors with lower interest rates and misleading guarantees about the safety of the funds. Survivors are told that the death benefit is being placed into a secure, interest-bearing account and are issued a checkbook with which they can spend the funds. However, the insurers place the retained asset accounts into their own accounts and retain most of the earnings. In addition, the money isn't guaranteed by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, and the checks merely act as IOUs for money in the insurer's account. Daniel Akaka, chairman of the S Senate Committee on Veteran Affairs, said, quote, The purpose of these benefits is to assist grieving survivors, not to improve insurance company profits, unquote. The White House has voiced its support to the VA's investigation, saying that President Obama wants to ensure America's responsibility to veterans and their families are fulfilled. According to a statement issued by the American Council of Life Insurers, quote, retained asset accounts provide a significant benefit to family members who are dealing with the emotional loss of a loved one. Financial matters may not be the first thing on their minds, and retained asset accounts provide a secure place for life insurance policies proceeds to be held until the money is needed, unquote. Fewer than 3% of life insurers dealt with regulatory actions in 2009 as a result of low risk-based capital levels, according to a new report by the National Association of Insurance Commissioners. The percentage of life insurers with RBC levels triggering regulatory action fell to 2.32% in 2009 from 2.83% in 2008. In 2006, the percentage of life insurers with RBS levels low enough to trigger regulatory action was just 1.3% and 1.49% in 2007. The RBC system is used by state, state regulators to determine whether insurers have enough capital to fulfill obligations to policyholders. The system provides insurers with more credit for assets held in what appear to be safer investments than for those held in riskier investments. Insurance risk accounts for 51% of total RBC are insurers with $10 million to $25 million in total admitted assets, and just 15% of RBC at those with more than $10 million in assets, NAIC said. An SEC task force recently recommended that life settlements be defined as securities, making them subject to federal securities law. If such a step were taken, market intermediaries, including settlement brokers and providers, would be required to register with the Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, and the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority Incorporated, or FINRA. The group has been studying the issues since last year, finding that although there are currently regulatory groups in place for life settlements, a wide variance remains in how states adopt rules. The task force recommended that SEC staff members ensure that settlement brokers and providers follow legal standards of conduct and keep an eye on the development of a life settlement securitization market. In addition, they urged Congress and state legislators to consider applying stricter regulation to life expectancy underwriters. For more industry spotlights, visit producersweb.com. <laughs>